Let's take a look at credit cards. You probably have a credit card that gives you some perks on some gas, maybe one for your favorite store. And then of course, there's this one here. This one's my favorite. This is the credit card that gives you cash back. So let me ask you, do you need a medical debt credit card? Nearly 100 million adults in the U.S. carry some form of medical debt. Care Credit is the largest medical credit card company. It's a subsidiary of Synchrony Financial. A spokesperson for Synchrony says, Care Credit's convenient and transparent financing options make health and wellness care more affordable and can be used to pay for a wide range of health and wellness items. But according to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the average medical credit card carries a 27% interest rate. That's versus the average of 16% for a general purpose credit card. These options can have high interest rates, steep payment penalties, and do damage to your credit. So instead of signing up for a medical credit card or a loan, you can ask your medical provider if they directly offer interest-free or low-interest payment plans. Consumer Reports suggest if you do go to the emergency room, instead of handing over your credit card to pay, ask for the invoice to be sent to your insurance company. If you're uninsured, you want to ask for that invoice to be mailed to you so that you can figure out how to pay or negotiate it when you are much calmer and in a better setting. Now, if you're confronted with a hospital bill that you just simply can't afford, ask if there's a charitable program that you can apply for. There's one that is called dollar4.org, and I'm going to put this resource in the two wants to know section for